Hi guys, so let's look at a program to do some operations of printing, finding sum and calculating the average of odd and even numbers from 1 to n. So we've already done the program of finding if a number is odd or even. I will be linking that program in the description box below. Now how to find if a number is odd or even? If n is a number that is odd or that you have to check whether it is odd or even. You just have to do the condition if n modulus 2 equals to equals to 0. If this is the condition, then it is even. Otherwise, it is odd. Meaning, that time, the value of n modulus 2 will be equal to equal to 1. Now, using this in a loop variable running from 1 to n. So, we will have a loop starting from 1 going all the way up till n and incrementing. Our job is to find how many of these numbers are odd and how many of these numbers are even. After that, calculate the sum and the average. So we already have the program how to find the sum of n numbers and how to find the average. I will link that program also in the description box below. So now let's get on. So first, we will have to initialize a sum variable to 0. So I'll go ahead and initialize So I'll go ahead and initialize a variable sum equals to 0. Now let us run our loop for i is equal to 1, i less than equal to n, i plus plus. n's value is already taken as input from the keyboard. Now I cannot do directly sum is equal to sum plus i because that will end up calculating the sum of all the numbers from 1 to n. I just have to calculate the sum of just the even numbers. So I am going to check if each value of i modulus 2 is equal to equal to 0. If this is true, then I will be calculating the sum plus equal to that particular i value only. Now I can repeat the same for odd number as well, where I can initialize sum is equal to 0 and start for i is equal to 1, i less than a equal to n, i plus plus and check if i modulus 2 is equal to equal to 1 then sum plus equal to i. You should realize you cannot write both these conditions in the same loop if you are using the same variable for both. If you are using different variables average, uh, even sum and odd sum even average and odd average you can go ahead and calculate in the same loop. But here I am using the same variable therefore I cannot do it in the same loop of calculation for if i is equal to equal to uh, i mod 2 is equal to 0 uh, calculate sum and i mod 2 is equal to 1 and calculate sum. Here I am writing it is in two different loops. You can go ahead and combine it in the same loop as well. Now calculating average is easy. Sum by the number of uh, numbers that you had taken the uh, sum for. But here the number of numbers is n. Some of these are odd, some of these are even. So I cannot do the calculation of average is equal to sum by n in this program. So what I will do is, I will go ahead and declare another variable c like a counter variable which is equal to 0 in both the cases. Now if i mod 2 is equal to equal to 0, at this place, I will write sum plus equal to i. This is shorthand for sum is equal to sum plus i. And I will also increment the counter, meaning it has met an even number inside the loop. Then you are done with your loop variable. You can directly go ahead and calculate average is equal to convert the float uh, sum to float on purpose divided by c not n. So once I am finished with this I can go ahead 
and start with my odd number calculation. And I can easily write the same set of statements here also. Only the condition changes. The condition is if i mod 2 is equal to equal to 1. Again there also I can calculate the sum and increment my counter variable. And I can go ahead and calculate average is equal to float of sum by c. If you're using the same variables, please write the loop for the odd and the loop for the even separately. Write the conditions in two different loops. If you're writing two different counter variables, two different sum variables and two different average variables, you can put everything in a whole single loop. Now let's see how this executes in the code. First declare a variable i to iterate through 1 to n. Then I need n. Uh, then I would need uh, sum, the counter variable and the float average variable. First, I will ask my user for a value for n. And I'll take input for the same variable n. Now, yes, first I will be printing out even values so that it will first print the even values and then go ahead with the uh, finding the sum and the average. So initialize sum is equal to 0 and uh, c is equal to 0 and start the loop for i is equal to 1 i less than or equal to n, i plus plus and first check the condition. If i modulus 2 equals 0. Now this we are printing the even values as specified in line number 11. That's why I am checking for i mod 2 is equal to 0. If that is the case, we have conditions, to, we have multiple statements to do. First, print out the value. So, percentage D space. Print out the value of i. Then go ahead and add it to the sum. Sum plus equal to i or sum is equal to sum plus i. Then update the counter. So, this will happen only if i mod 2 is equal to 0. After that, you can calculate average which is equal to uh, convert the sum forcibly to float divided by c which is the number of elements. So after once we are done with this since we'll, I am reusing the variables I will be printing out first. So slash n sum and put percentage d slash n average put percentage f. The first one is the variable sum. The second one is the variable avg. So I'll go ahead and just print this much. So the value of I have an i sum plus equal to i. Yes, sorry. So I'll go and print out enter n 10. It'll print even values 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 and uh, 30 is a sum. The average is 6 because there are 5 numbers only. Now I'll shorten this down to like 0.2f because I only want 2 digits after the decimal. I'll run it once again and yes it prints. Now I want to repeat the entire thing from here onwards till from line number 11 to line number 26 for odd. So I'm just going to copy paste the entire code. And I'll replace this side with odd values. The modulus should be equal to 1. And yes, everything else remains the same. Okay, I'll run it once again. Enter n 10. It should print odd values and even values. You can leave one more space here as slash n. So that there is a demarcation there. Enter n 10. And the even values are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And uh, 30 is the sum. 6 is the average. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. 
25 is the sum and 5 is the average. You can run for a bigger number also like let's say 20. It will print, find the sum and the average of all the even and the odd numbers between 1 and n. Thank you.